Hello again everyone, you may continue to call me Twilight Dusk, and this is XCOM Enemy Unknown. Last time we just finished getting the arc throwers ready, so we could start capturing aliens. But first things first, in two days there is the first council report, so let's go ahead and fast forward to that. Incoming transmission. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations, and that is not a statement this Council makes lightly. Okay, so this is the results screen you get every month, pretty much. You see all the activity we have, green things is good, red things means that we failed at something. We get money every month, which then gets deducted for base upkeep, and we get extra scientists and engineers based on where we have satellite coverage. Satellite coverage which we are going to get to expanding fairly quickly. Now we get graded, and you get to see all of the panic levels, and if someone's left the council, then it says that that country is no longer in the council. Remember, we will be watching. So speaking of satellites, let's get some of those ready. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. We need two things to get more satellites up and running. First off, we need to get another satellite uplink ready. This is not the cheapest building in the world. You get two satellites from the building and plus one for every other satellite uplink this is linked to. So, once we get this up, Uh, the other satellite uplink we have will also link to it, so we should get a total of an extra four satellites up in the air. From what little I've seen of their technology, if the aliens were intent on conquering Earth, there's not much we could do to stop them. I'm guessing they have something else in mind. The other thing, of course, that we need to get satellites up and running is we need satellites. I don't have enough to buy more than two right now, but I'm close to being able to get a third, so let me see if I can sell a few more things in the gray market. <laughs> Satellites do not take a short amount of time to get up. These are going to take us 20 days to manufacture, so... The sooner you get them started, the sooner you'll get them, of course. And by the time that we have them, the new satellite uplink will be ready. Other than that, uh, in another two days we'll have experimental warfare ready, so let's get to that. Contact oh! Commander, we've got another contact. The signature is a little bigger this time, though. Alright, scramble the interceptors. out. Come on. Down, get down. Get yes! Just in the nick of time. Okay. Well, that's gonna take a little while on repairs, but we'll be able to get a downed UFO investigated. Meantime, let's get my assault loaded out with that arc thrower. And let's bring a recruit in as well. I always like bringing in recruits, so it's always nice just to have some more people getting trained. Because, like we saw last time, people will die. Let's get this show on the road. within the continental United States. It looks like the aliens went down in a sparsely populated area. If there are civilians in the area, I hope they stay clear. Operation Defiant Pyre. 
Well, I guess there's going to be some fire, given that we just crashed a spaceship there. In any case, I hope that the UFO didn't take too much damage, because depending on what we recover, we could easily get some more money out of it. Central, this is Big Sky. Strike One is ready to secure the craft. Copy, Big Sky. Strike One is clear to attempt the breach. Okay. You go off over here. Oh, I already sighted someone. Hmm, go ahead and take the shot. Adjusting aim. There's my sniper, so if he's going to take a shot, he has to take a shot right now. Eh, go ahead and try. Also went wide. Negative damage. If they don't regret that decision. Moving to firing position. No way that just happened. That was more to get my assault up closer, though, because if you remember, he's the one who has my arc thrower right now. Hmm. And let's see how these sectoids respond. They respond by mind linking, of course. One alien down. Let's get closer to this remaining one while being... Obviously there's going to be more than just this alien on the map, so we want to continue to approach cautiously. Let's actually get my sniper into some cover, why don't we? Ready to engage. That radius there is how close I need to be in order to use the arc thrower on the alien. And again, I cannot use it after dashing. However, I can dash to approach and then hopefully be in range for next turn. Depending on what this guy decides to do. To uh, he ended up not doing much, so let's approach. I'm pretty sure this works like Pokemon in that uh, the lower the enemy's health, the higher chance you have for this to be successful. Uh, in the case, I don't really... hmm. Well, I guess if I fire with someone's pistol, I could hit him without having any sort of chance of actually killing him. Unless I get a critical, of course. Well, let's see what the chances of this are. It'll be a 50% chance to critical if it hits. I don't want to take the chance of killing it. I'll just go with that 70% chance of capturing. Say good night. And it's down. Excellent. Now we can begin preparing for the interrogation. So at the end of the mission, as long as we're successful, I will have the captive alien brought back to base. In addition, since it didn't die, its weapon did not explode into fragments, so I'll also have its little plasma weapon to examine. So, awesome stuff all around. I 
think we're getting close to the uh, UFO there. That's probably it over there, right there. Again, continuing to approach this cautiously. So the arc thrower has two uses for each one you bring in, so I can still capture one more alien this mission, if the chance comes up. He's got running gun back up, so how about let's move him up a bit further. There's the door. Although since it crashed, the door is not necessarily the only way in. Still pays to be cautious as we're approaching, of course. As far as the stunned alien on the map, I don't think you really have to worry about it getting back up. However, if there's an explosion by the corpse, it can probably end up killing him instead of leaving him stunned, so... All in all, it's probably best to get away from the alien after you've managed to stun it. Just to make sure that nothing happens to the, to the body. Something up over there. One of my friends is speaking to me from experience that yes, an explosion will take out the corpse. Or rather, the body, since it's... We'll turn the body into a corpse, let's put it that way. Can you approach that way, see if you can get the sights on whatever's out there. Hmm. Pretty impressive looking ship, isn't it? Even while it's crash-landed here. talking much, this is kind of me focusing since I'm not entirely sure where this alien's gonna pop out from. Hmm. Okay, you recruit, you get up a bit closer. There we are. Three sectoid aliens. Scampering for cover. Well, might as well take the shot. Now we see where they are, we can prepare it better. Know which cover is good and all that. Good work, Sniper. Okay, so there should still be two more of them up there, so don't rest easy just yet. Here comes one, it seems.
Don't worry, we'll get you a med kit. Okay, um, once we get inside the UFO, I'm definitely not going to want to use my rocket, so how about we take a little overkill right here? Um, if I can get a clean rocket shot that will be in range of that alien, and hopefully maybe revealing where his friend is. Oh, miss the target! Target locked! Well, that took out one of them at least. That is quite some ragdolling. Okay, move my medic up so she can heal my heavy next turn. Move my sniper up to here. A little bit of high ground. I have a running gun up, but I don't really feel like using it right now. Oh! There's the alien. Hmm. If I dashed from here, I still wouldn't be able to get a really good shot, so let's just go to Overwatch for now. And my recruit get over there. What are you gonna do there, little sir? To lose ground. You are going to do absolutely nothing. Fine by me. Ned kids fix everything. Calm down. <laughs> Pass them to the face. Just apply some med kit. <laughs> okay, dashing from there. Now, now, now that's something I can do. Down. And hopefully I don't reveal like five more aliens in the process of dashing over. And I don't. He's down. Okay, so that's the three that were there, so... Unless there's some aliens on the other side of the UFO, anything that's left should be inside. So let's prepare to break and enter next turn. To withstand an impact like that, at such a velocity, the materials used in that vessel's hull must be at least an order of magnitude beyond any element we know of. What exactly is that supposed to mean? Seriously, that's... I don't really think that's more than Technobabble right there. Alright, you right there and get on Overwatch. And you open the door. Anything right inside? Apparently not. Move up to that cover and then get on Overwatch. Oddly enough, on UFO missions like this, I tend to get a lot more relaxed once I actually get to the UFO, because it's a lot easier to advance into it than it is to advance... It's, it's easier to advance through it than it is to advance up to it, in my opinion, at least. Especially when it's intact, but even when it's broken down like this, there's only so many places for aliens to be hiding. Unlike in the woods, where they could be literally anywhere. Well, apparently there's something off to the right, so I'll focus my efforts on... Oh dear! This is a disturbing sight, to say the least. It's hard to differentiate where the organic material ends and the machine begins. It's not going to win any beauty contests, that's for sure. Those over there are floaters, a new type of alien. They can fly around, they even have a skill that uses up their whole turn but lets them jump to any space on the field. So like, if you have a sniper hanging back, a floater can just jump instantly behind it, and you'll have a turn to react to that, but you'll have an enemy right behind your sniper for a turn. Oh, 
Well, that's certainly a worthy addition to my capturing, so... Let's have my recruits stay in here, just in case some aliens decide to pop their heads out. And have the rest of my units start advancing towards those floors. Actually, let's get close enough to it for the shock, actually. Hey, there, recruit. Put your pistol, what's the chances of hitting that thing? Well, it was worth the chance. Enemy is still alive. I definitely want to try to capture this turn. What's my chances if I do it right now? Yeah, less than 50% chance. Oh wait, what does that say in the tooltip? Higher chance if the enemy's health is at 3 or below. Okay, so that's how it works. In that case... Let's see if I can't get some of that HP down. There we go. Another reason why pistols can be useful is the fact that they're weaker, so you can use them to damage enemies without killing them. Say good night. Looks like you're coming home with us. And we have two enemies from all this. And for the rest of the mission, I uh, do not have to worry about potentially capturing anything now. <laughs> there should still be one floater out there, though, so I shouldn't rest easy just yet. Unfortunate. Back. Apparently it moved into a spot where it has no cover against me though, so let's see if I can hit him now. That's more like it. Ammo out. Okay, well. I'll have my sniper get ready over here. I'll have my other units start to advance towards that door. If I'm correct about the each of these two doors should lead into pretty much identical side rooms, which then connect to a central room, if I remember how these smaller UFOs are laid out. So, if I pick one side to focus on and circle around, I should be able to get anything that'll come through. Of course, having my sniper ready on Overwatch over here will help in case some aliens decide to crash through that door. My other four units will just approach that door with as much caution as is reasonable. Recruit, open the door. See anything in there? Mm, not just yet, at least.
There's probably just one more enemy left, another one of those outsider aliens that are always on these, uh, crash ships. In any case, I'm gonna keep being careful, because I can't guarantee that there's only that one left. And you also got another watch. Open the door. Ah, this one's a little bit bigger than I thought, I guess. There's another room up over there. Alright, well, approach to there and get on Overwatch. The alien flight computer could prove to be extremely useful in our own research. Please, take great care in returning it to the base in one piece. Yep, 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 I had no plans on fighting anywhere near that flight computer. And the amount of preparation I'm putting into this is probably more than necessary, but, uh, better safe than sorry, they say. I'll we'll have two units ready on either door into this back room. And I guess I can also have my sniper approach. Yeah, right in there is where he is. Go. Okay, and next turn we'll get in there and we'll get at that last alien. Okay, recruit, open this door. Enemy troops! And there it is. They're moving to flank me. Crit. Get in there and fire at it. Yeah, that preparation was a bit overkill, but Operation Defiant Operation Prior... Operation Defiant Prior is a complete success. Well, let's get back and examine the loot. First things first, we have some promotions. My new recruit has been upgraded to Assault. Aha, another decision for the support. I can either take Rifle Suppression, which allows me to use my rifle to do suppressive fire, which pins an enemy down. If they try to move, I will get a free shot at them, and they have a penalty towards their own aiming. The other thing I can do is get Revive, which allows me to if I have a unit who has been critically injured, rather than just stabilizing their condition with my medkits, I can actually bring them back up to being able to do things. But this is actually a pretty difficult decision for me. I think I'm gonna go with the suppression though. Suppression is very nice to have, especially if you're trying to capture aliens. I know it wasn't easy, but this could really be a turning point in our research. Not only can we interrogate the subject, but bringing an alien back alive provides us with a much better understanding of their physiology. Impressive work indeed. Preparations in the containment facility are well underway. Okay, the professor, rather the doctor, is very excited about this, it seems. 
What I'm excited about is that we did get some damage to stuff that we can just sell off with no consequence. Thus giving us some more money to work with. Okay, so... We should begin interrogating the alien subject immediately. I'm confident we can safely house it within the containment facility, but I can't say for how long. Alright, so in one day my current research is going to be done, so let's hold off on that. The How's the satellites see, coming? The more I don't want to see. That twisted hulk of flesh and metal, driven by the alien technology, can we still call that life? I guess he's we talking about the floater we just brought in. Project, but the thought of treading the same path as the aliens is troubling. What if they were like us once? Are we just part of a continuing cycle? Yeah, 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 enough of your principle. philosophy. I want no... Let's scan for activity for a moment while we wait for experimental warfare to finish. And text. I can now build the foundry and the phoenix cannon. Phoenix Cannon is a new ship weapon that will allow me to more effectively take down UFOs. And the Foundry is a facility that will allow me to develop some things. Uh, both of these will not take too long, so let's start with interrogating that sectoid we got. And we get a little cutscene. There it is, all holed up in captivity. does not look very happy. <laughs> well, we'll see what the results of that are. If I go to the barracks, whoops, is there anything I can afford here? Not really. And I'm not sure... Hmm... Phoenix Cannon would cost $22. I'm gonna go ahead and manufacture those, just so I can, for the next time we have a UFO to take down, we can have my ships better equipped. And I need to wait for this thing to repair before I can alter its loadout, for some reason. And I guess that's the end of the interrogation. So, how'd it go, Doctor? Better than expected. Before the creature expired, I was able to extract some new information from it. You're saying that What kind of new information? Spooky? Not precisely. But when you have access to a creature's brain, certain patterns can be discerned. Recent images and thoughts. And what exactly so we have mind-reading technology, apparently. This particular image appeared in the creature's thought pattern several times throughout the procedure. Ooh, a sectoid. We've already met that thing, Doctor. This is hardly the kind of breakthrough we were... And there was a neural link in the creature's mind between this image and this one. That's the thing that pulled a disappearing act when we shot down our first UFO. And, and the guess. most recent one. You want to poke around in its head, too. It is the next piece of the puzzle. And this time, instead of shooting it, I suggest we try to capture it alive. Hey, so next time I see a UFO, I should try to capture that outsider thing alive. Beam weapons research credit. This means that when I go to the research beam weapons now, it'll take a lot. It'll go a lot faster than it would have before. So let's go ahead and interrogate that floater next to see what kind of research credit it gives me. And again, the thing does not exactly look very happy there in the containment. That thing had better be built to last. If I look at the review research credits here, we can see what types of research we can research more efficiently, thanks to our mind-reading of the aliens. Oh, new abductions. What do we got? Commander, we have multiple reports of new abductions in progress. The locations are marked on the hologlobe.
Let's go to Nigeria. I kind of want that money. Oh, and India is requesting a satellite. Okay, so they're offering me money if I get a UFO up over them, rather a satellite up over them. So, next satellite. When I get those satellites ready, I will definitely be placing one over India, I guess. Or maybe they're asking me to just give them one. I'm not sure. Well, for the cost of the satellite, 200 bucks is a pretty significant reward. Why are you not in proper armor? I thought I took care of that last time. Stay in that armor this time. And you, sir. You're an assault, so you get yellow armor. Alright, let's do this. To the alien abduction site. Deployment strike one. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian interior for the next operation. We've picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within the Final Thunder. We should get down there and That's an imposing sort of mission name. Oh, well, it said very difficult, but as long as we take it slow, it shouldn't be too much of a problem. I just have to, you know, actually take it slow this time. Load in and see what we got here. Central, big sky in position on approach of the abduction site. Well, thankfully we're starting in a corner, which always makes me a bit less nervous. Strike one is clear to engage hostile targets. Watch your backs out there, people. Alright. Let's take this slowly and subtly and not advance into alien ambushes too fast. Running down to there. I've got a visual on anything? No, I'm just going to overwatch then. Okay, other assaults. I will have an advance up to there. Still nothing, still nothing. I'll have my heavy dash up between them. Probably best to look around the outside of the building before I try to uh, get inside it, although it's likely that most of the aliens in this mission are inside it, so why don't we try to approach the building a bit? Aha! More satellites. Which immediately take cover in an office. Well, now that I've spotted them, they'll be after me, so... If I just hold up here, they should approach me eventually. So, why don't I just have my people sit on Overwatch up by this cover here for a few turns and see how that works out. Oh, switch you back to your sniper rifle next turn, but for now I'll get your pistol out just so you can take a pot shot if something comes up. Yes, it's a matter of just how cautious are the aliens going to be versus them hating my guts and wanting to kill me. I don't think we're alone out here. Well, one of them's approaching at least. Somewhere back there. 
given that. It's just kind of... There we are. Okay, I don't know how I left my heavy try to take out that alien. No longer a threat. Thanks to his bullet storm ability, he can still move this turn if he wants to. Or take another shot, so apparently... Or even fire a rocket if he wanted to. Huh. How about... Huh? No, no, not reload. Fire rocket. Okay, and now I, I need both of my actions to fire the rocket, but I can reload after having shots, which is one thing I can do. Oh, green to go. Let's have everyone else stand over watch, because there is still an alien in there that knows that I'm out here. Okay, yeah, uh, when a shot's miss, if they hit things like cars and some other things, they can cause them to set on fire and explode after a few turns, which is what you just saw there. Alright, sniper. See what you can do about that alien. I'm about to start keeping score. Alrighty then, since those two are out, let's approach through that hole we just made, and, uh, advance through the building from there, see what we can see. Shotgun at that range isn't going to do much, is it? <laughs> ah! Machine gun on the other hand can do something reasonable. Oh dear, and there's also a group of floaters. Alrighty then, um, take a shot at that one. And even though that one missed, I still have another shot thanks to Bullet Storm. That one was a little better. Alright, you get to there. See if you can take out that one that's in the air right there. That went a little bit better. Sniper, what do you see? You get the one in the back there, that would be great. And... Let's have my new assault. Got the next kill. That works. So that sectoid up there, I, even with running gun, I don't really think I can get a good shot at him this turn. I can't still get a shot at him though, so let's see what happens. Got for a long range shotgun blast, that went very well. Got a critical even. Well, that was a lot of aliens right at once, but there's still more on the map, evidently. Lord only knows what they're doing. Well, well let's actually advance into the building, like I said I would last time. Oh, another three sectoids right freaking there. Try to flank us. Cover the flanks. Well, let's see if you can take one out. Well, I could damage one at least. No rounds. He's down. Okay. 
Okay. You are my salt who has the thing. But it looks like I can't get close enough to use it, except maybe there. Mm, nah, not close enough to use it apparently. Oh well, I'll just take a shot then. Well, I got rid of some of its cover at least. Doing really well today, Salt Jason. I wonder if this is the last group of aliens. Given how many have been fighting one after another, that would not surprise me, actually. Taken care of. Out of round. Yep, All that's it. That was supposed to be very difficult. <laughs> that was the smoothest mission yet, really. Troops really came through on this one. I'm glad everyone made it back safely. Uh, thank you, Doctor. That was kind of random to say. Okay, next drink for my sniper. I can either get Disabling Shot, which allows me to... If it hits, it'll prevent my uh, given enemy from using his main weapon until he spends a turn reloading it. This can be very helpful to help keep the target out of the action, especially if I'm trying to capture it. The other option is a battle scanner that will, for two turns, show me if there's alien activity in an area. It can be useful, but it's not as useful as you might think a lot of the time, so I'm going to go with the disabling shot. Next drink for assault, I can have two special shot types. One can force an enemy out of cover, and the other lets me fire twice in a row. I'm gonna go with firing twice in a row. For this guy at least. Maybe for the other one I'll go with flush out shot. For heavy, I can either get a special type of rocket that will increase the damage enemies take for the next few turns, or I can have my heavy get suppression, much like the support from before. And I have all sorts of stuff. We will be in touch, Commander. Now that I have some money, the first thing I'm gonna in do is. In times of war, there's always a leader, a general, someone giving the orders. I am running short on how much power I have, so let's get a thermo generator up. What sort of power or authority does it take to control such a vast range of alien species? And once I have that, it'll be a lot easier to build other things, since I'll have power to do things with. So, let's see what'll happen. Floater interrogation is complete. Basic armor technology research credit. So, for example, I can get alien materials done in two days it's now, start on everything that. everything we need to capture and house an alien for interrogation, Commander. The rest is up to our forces on the ground. Um, yes, I've already captured a few, you realize. So, let's... Oh, uh, I think... I think it's so that the ship over here is ready, so let's get it the better weapons now. And once again, scan for activity until the research finishes. Now, Fiber Vest is an etc. item that increases a unit's health a bit, and it also starts towards getting armor. Let's get beam weapons out of the way, though. Since, you know, having lasers is always great. Sally coupling facilities Sorry, ready. Carry on. The thermo generator is ready. Carry on. Beam weapons research is done. I can make a laser rifle and laser pistol, and I can research other types of lasers. I'm going to go for the armor of now, though. 
and so that'll make my units less likely to die in the field. And in two days, my satellites will be done. And Brazil is requesting two scopes, and will reward me with fifty-seven dollars. How much does it cost me to make a scope? How much does it cost me to make two scopes? Is what the real question is. That is profit right there. Small profit, but profit. I go to situation room, and I go to Pentagon. Doctor Vaughn's interrogation technique certainly is efficient. You'd never and get some money out of it. But that woman is an alien's worst nightmare. Oh dear, some people are really starting to panic. It's a good thing I have satellites on the way. Commander, our satellite is prepped and standing by for launch. We are ready to deploy it on your orders. Okay, well first I'm going to give one to India for 200 bucks. Launched. All right, and I'll also keep panic in India f from getting too out of control. And let's put my other two into Mexico and Russia since they're panicking a lot. Satellite launched. Satellite uplink facilities at maximum capacity. Additional uplink required. All right, so then. I need to get a new ship in the Asian area so that I can respond to anything I see over there. In three days, that'll be ready. I have more money now, so let me build another workshop first. That'll take a few days, and once that's done, I'll try to get some more satellite uplink facilities ready, I think. Let's see... Oh, yes. Also, since I have some spare cash... Let's get some laser rifles built. This is going to cost some of that alloy I have in addition to money, but... It'll be worth it. Wait, no, 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 not laser pistol, I want laser rifle. Which is going to cost a bit more, but... Worth the cost, very much so. If I want to bring a heavy and a sniper who can't use these on each mission, then I want to have three laser rifles ready. And you get to see a little video of a researcher testing the new weapon. I would call that quite effective. If I go into my barracks, I can equip them to my units right away. One to my support unit, of course. Then I have my sniper, my assault, I will also give a laser rifle. I realize that I'm foregoing the shotgun's benefits, but laser rifle is worth it. Same with this recruit. Rather, same with this assault. You can get, uh, after some more research, a version of the shotgun that is laser technology, which is fun to use. In any case... We got lasers now. Why don't we see if we can't get one more mission just so we can see these lasers in action. Ah, perfect. Command, we're receiving several urgent requests for assistance. There are abductions in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. Hmm. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for the one in South Africa. I'm between getting more engineers and getting the money, and South Africa is already panicking a little bit. Plus, the fact that this is a very difficult mission should serve to highlight my new weapons. You can see them standing there holding my new guns. Let's get to it. Dropship has arrived. What's, what mission name are you going to give me this time? We're heading to Crystal Mother. 
We need to get down there fast. Um. We picked up a local broadcast indicating alien activity within a major. I mean, I guess I can see the connection between crystals and my new laser weapons, but why, mother? Whatever. You get used to the fact that these. There's a reason that I've kind of ignored operation names until I'm specifically trying to pay attention to them now. They get kind of silly. <laughs> Alright, so Roger, we're on a highway. Five by five. Strike one has the green light for this the is... This is gonna be a bit different from a usual map, I think, just because of how the layout is with the two lanes of highway. Well, advance to cover behind cars, make sure you're not behind one when it's exploding. That's the way this is gonna work, I guess. Even though my, have, my sniper has squad sight, it should have pretty good range on being able to just look at things from one side of the road. Firing position. Look up there. No aliens in sight yet, it seems. Moving at the speed of death. Eyes on target. There we go. I remember how effective bullet to the face was on these guys, right? Let's see how effective laser to the face is. Well, I guess I kind of have to hit them before I can see how effective laser to the face is, don't I? Well, it's got rid of his cover, at least. I wonder how he's going to respond to that. Well, looks like he's receiving a mental link. And then he just stupidly stayed still and let that car explode on him. <laughs> let it never be said that aliens are the brightest bunch. Even though, really, they should be a lot smarter than that. Enemy in sight. Oh, dear. Another set of aliens, and one getting a reaction shot on me. You want about to go? They're flanking my position. Well, it's a good thing I just done a single move there. That way I can retreat back into my cover. How oh, my sniper? You got you got anything? You can't see anything. I don't really have a clean shot for my rocket, really, either. Hmm. Yeah, this is a bit tricky. There's not really a whole lot of cover aside from the cars, which, like, this one might explode soon, so I should get out of the way. Well, fortunately, a blown-out car still provides cover, so once the explosion happens, I don't need to worry too much. Mr. Target. Got a lot of heat on me. And this car is about to blow up too now. Unfortunately, the sectoids continue to be lousy shots, especially at this kind of range. Yeah, you definitely do not want to be taking cover on, by a car when it's exploding. Why aren't you there? Alright, laser to the face. Nine damage critical. That works, that works. Let's 
see you in hell. You're in five damage normally, and now that car is going to explode soon. And there should still be a few more aliens out here, shouldn't there? Yeah, like those ones over there. Which, they could easily flank me if I stay out there, so let me retreat back to my previous position. Oh, except now I'm taking reaction fire. Miss, though fortunately it doesn't seem to have set the car and taken cover by on fire. See what happens next turn. Well, first thing that happens is that car decides to explode, and then that car decides to explode. Oh no, that car's not exploding quite yet. It's just that it's being fired on. I'm all right. And now that car explodes. There's going to be a lot of explosions this mission, I can already tell. <laughs> well, I mean, you can't really call it a prediction, it's already kind of come true. Hostile pacified. The great thing about using a, a rifle on an assault is that you can make shots from a distance, as opposed to if you're having with a shotgun, you really need to get in range first. Now that all those guys are dead, I can advance a bit more safely. And finally get ahead to seeing what's further up on this map. More sectoids, that's what we got here. It's just a sectoid bonanza. Kill confirmed. My sniper, of course, cannot see shit. Going in for the kill. But you barely be able to see the alien over there. Yes. And I've set the car he's hiding behind on fire, which is... Well, either he's going to be an idiot and he's going to let himself get killed, or he's going to need to move out of that cover. So, getting someone on Overwatch over here would not be a bad idea. Let's see what he decides to do. They're falling back. He really didn't do anything. Is that it? Evidently not. Move up, see what we can see. how long this highway goes on. Or this stretch of highway, at least. Hmm. Right you on top of there. Would you be able to see better? I mean, I'm sure you'll be able to see better, but will you be able to see anything right now? Well, let you reload for now, then. One of the things about the original XCOM that got changed for this is that the laser weapons do not have infinite ammo. In the, pre in the original XCOM, you could just fire them all day without anything happening in this game. All the weapons, including the laser weapons, you actually need to reload every few shots. We're clean to go. 
And so I shall continue to slowly advance. The reason I'm interested in this high ground is the potential for seeing where I'm going to see things. Possibly. Although, apparently I don't see much from this vantage point. I'll leave him on overwatch while the others advance up. If he can't see anything, there's probably nothing in the immediate vicinity. There's another spot to get some high ground over here, though. Target acquired. Oh dear. Loaders. Oh dear, oh dear, that might not be, have been the best decision to make. What did I say earlier about taking things slow? And about how I would totally take things slow to this time? Oh well, I got flanking on one of those floaters, so that's one down. Kill confirmed. I'm out of firepower over here. And I got a reaction shot, another one, which missed, but I still like off the reaction shot. Which probably means that I'll be in range of shooting him next turn. Making fire. Wow, that's lousy aim. Well then again, if you had a good constantly malfunctioning jetpack on your back, I'm sure you wouldn't have the best aim either. Ninety-nine percent chance to hit, huh? You know, with these laser weapons, a hit on some of these lower tier aliens is pretty much guaranteed to be a kill. Sniper rifles are also pretty much guaranteed kills if they hit at this stage of the game. Everything by the numbers. And that went wonderfully. Let's see what kind of promotions we got out of that. Impressive work, Commander. Our soldiers have to be feeling good after a mission like that. I'll have him grab tactical sense, give him a little bit of a cover boost. And I have her. We will be watching. And I have some more money to spend again. Let's see here. We get a satellite uplink there. Oh no, I need a lot more. I need some more engineers for it. Let me build another satellite uplink. Hmm. Why don't I build the foundry then? It's not the most expensive place. And once we have it, we'll be able to do some more things. Hmm... How's our research going right now of carapace armor in four days? I think I shall scan for activity again. If I get something, I'll probably save it for next time, but if I can get the armor ready for production, then I'll take care of that. Oh dear. This mission. Looks like they've changed their tactics. But why? why Maybe because we've been kicking their asses? It's a message to the entire world that nothing can stop them. This is a terror mission. This is a, uh... Some of my previous games, this mission has been the end of my game, just because of how terribly I did in them. Aliens are terrorizing Moscow. And, well, we have something to look forward to for next time, then. Have a good day, everyone.